My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. This is the Weekly Dumb. And speaking of unbelievably dumb, Jake, tell them what happened with the Seattle Mariners president yesterday. Jim, Kevin, Mather, Mather, don't care anymore. Doesn't matter. (laughs) All-time Weekly Dumber with his quotes to the local Rotary Club. The local Rotary Club. He sat down with the Bellevue Breakfast Club. I think that's what it was. And before they even asked questions in his opening remarks, he talked about service time manipulation, which everybody does, but no one has come out and just openly said it onto a recorded video. He laughed about how overvalued their TV contract is. Says, yeah, we're getting way too much money from those idiots. Talked about how he offers contracts to players that undervalue them. Uh, He mocked two foreign players for not speaking a second, second... Why can't I say that fucking word? He mocked two foreign language players for not being able to speak a second... That's unreal. What's going on with you in the word second? Second language. Second language. And we're over here having trouble with the first. (laughs) <laughs> and then he just openly talked about player strategy. This might be the dumbest guy in weekly dumb history week three. This guy is a weekly dumb hero. Unbelievable. Each quote is better than the next. And when I say better, I mean worse. And it's almost impossible. But he did it at the local Rotary Club. Local Rotary Club. God. Jim? This week's almost a breakdown. We have one of your specialties, the sack bunt. The Japanese jumping sack bunt. A little leaguer in Japan got the the bunt sign. The runners on second and third are in motion. The pitch is way high, way outside. Jumps up, leaves the box, releases one hand off the bat, still puts it in play, gets the sack bunt down, gets the RBI. The good news is he probably felt really cool doing that. That's a badass little athletic play. It's not as athletic as you think. I've done this, Jim, uh, back in my little league days, little hero ball. You just kind of got to put the bat up there and pray a little bit, but that was my gift. The bad news is, Jake, if he just lets that ball go to the backstop, the runner on third scores, the runner on second moves to third. He gets to continue hitting. He's not out. He doesn't want that, though, Jim. you got to think what's going on here. A little bit of low IQ play. He wants to put it in play. You want to prove you can do that. When I played men's hockey, men's league, if the puck was in the air, I'd always bat it out of the air with my stick. They'd call, like, high sticking and replay, and they'd be like, why'd you do that? And I'd say, because I need to prove to my dad that I can hit a baseball. Because I can. Uh, The good news is he gets an RBI. So, I mean, he could have got another RBI if he stayed up and then the runner on third is there. You know, he could have just done the same thing on a better pitch, the next pitch, and got another. They were scored two runs, whatever. Good job, little kid. Let's stay in sports, Jake. What else happened? Jim, some NFL quarterback news. Cam Newton gets heckled at his own camp. Rude. Good times, bad times, a little rude. Carson Wentz got traded to Indy. Good for him. The real story is the golf, Jim. I know we're not normally a golf company. We're getting there. Max Homa, local boy, wins the Genesis Golf Classic Tournament of Champions from there, and he hits two incredible shots. Also missed the putt that could have won it easily. Sorry, Tony Finau. He said in his post game that he grew up watching this tournament like every year, and I was like, the Genesis? Yeah. You watch this every year? You're fucking sick, dude. And then he was, it's his hometown. LA. He went there and watched it in person and tried to get high fives from Tiger Woods when he was a little kid. Now Tiger Woods handing him the trophy. That's pretty cool. I like that. The I w- tree shot's all time. The tree shot is amazing, and I, I wish that we could have his brain mic'd up because I would love to hear the mindset that he was talking to himself. Like, was he amped up? Like, yeah, this is my shot. I can fucking crush this. They don't even know what they're about to see. Or is he like, fuck, 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 fuck. I, I fuck. think he's. I think that's the full circle movie moment. He's been waiting for that shot his whole life, and it's awesome. And Cuts to a flashback on. of his dad just just putting every ball by a tree. I don't want to hit next to the tree, Dad! You need to! Max Homo's British. His dad was. Let's step away from sports for a second, Jim, and do some not sports. Not sports. A plane. The engine blew up. And then all the engine parts flew out of the sky over Denver. There's videos of a woman on a soccer field, and the just plane bits are flying out of the sky, like black things coming out and crash landing in parking lot in a soccer field. The ring of the engine fell off. It's huge, and it landed on a dude's truck in his driveway, which is awesome. He's going to get a big payday. Glad no one got hurt. Awesome story to tell for the rest of your life, and you're probably going to get a huge payday. Everyone's safe. 
Would a like truck guy to get hurt a little bit, then I know he's getting paid for life. Big daddy effect. Interesting to see where it actually lands at. And you know what, Jim? You mentioned this with the ring of the plane. I love stuff that's sneaky bigger than you think. Like, you ever see a traffic light and you're like, this is massive. Yes. Same thing with plane parts. Fire hydrants are like 20 feet long. I don't know. I don't I don't know about that. Not confirmed. Good job by the pilot. Good job by the person filming. Person steady who filmed hand. the engine at the steadiest hand ever. That dude's not scared of death at all. You guys seen this? It was very steady. It was very steady. That For guy's, like an um, all-time panicky moment, very steady filming. I think that guy's pretty happy with death. So you have him as a culprit? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. You think he set it on fire? I have him at grips with death. Oh, okay. So when that was happening, he's like, oh, look at this. Oh, well, if I'm going to go, this is a hell of a way to do it. Oh, <gasps> you did pop it. Let's go. It's the employee, employee of the week. week. It's the, it's the employee, employee of, of the week. week. You know what? Our editor, Zach, was going to get employee of the week, but he's not. Nope. Because the, the fellas at Pinstripe Strong interviewed yes. Luis Severino yesterday, and that's just a huge get for them. I'm very excited. Uh, check out Pinstripe Strong. If you're a Yankees fan, check out Luis Severino. A little Spanish in there, so I didn't understand 15% of what they said, and I hope that part was awesome because I, I don't know what I don't speak the second language. Shout and out that's on the, me. Shout out to the McFly crew. Uh, shout out to Ant jumping in, helping producing. And yeah, it's a really good interview, uh, unless you're the Seattle Mariners' Kevin Mather, because two languages. Huh? And sorry to Zach, who got got. Oh, big loser. Oh, cool guy. That was a weekly dumb.